4 Preventive Controls for US FSMA PCP Plan In today's video, we will be diving deep into an important topic, the four types of preventive control in the Preventive Control Plan for the US Food Safety Modernization Act FSMA. Understanding these controls is vital for anyone involved in the food industry, especially those looking to ensure FSMA compliance. So, let's jump right in. Introduction to FSMA The Food Safety Modernization Act, commonly known as FSMA, has been a game-changer in how we address food safety in the United States. The law focuses more on preventing food safety issues rather than reacting to them after they happen. An essential part of this strategy is the use of preventive controls in the Preventive Control Plan. Overview of the four types of preventive controls Preventive controls are steps or procedures that food facilities need to take in order to prevent or minimize food safety hazards. These controls fall under four categories, process controls, allergen controls, sanitation controls, and supply chain controls. Let's walk through each of them in detail. Process controls. First up, we have process controls. These procedures and practices are implemented to ensure control of critical parameters during various operations such as cooking, cooling, acidification, refrigeration, and packaging. In other words, they are all about making sure that the food process prevents or mitigates any hazards to an acceptable level. Allergen Controls Next we have allergen controls. These controls are designed to prevent cross-contact and ensure that allergens are properly labeled on finished food products. Remember, allergen labeling or cross-contact can cause severe reactions in consumers and in some cases, even life-threatening situations. Proper controls in this area are vital to ensure the safety of consumers. Sanitation controls. The third type of preventive control revolves around sanitation controls. Here, the focus is on preventing contamination in both the environment and the equipment where the food is produced. This includes proper cleaning and sanitation practices for production areas, utensils, work surfaces, and anything else that could potentially come into contact with the food. Supply CHA and controls. Last, but certainly not least, we have supply chain controls. This type of control involves managing the supply chain to ensure that the raw materials coming into your facility are safe and meet your quality standards. This can include supplier verification, audits, and ensuring that your suppliers adhere to the same food safety standards you do. Deepening the understanding and implementing preventive controls. Now that we have discussed the four types of preventive controls, the next step is to implement them into your preventive control plan. Start by analyzing your facilities to identify any potential hazards under each category. Then, develop and implement appropriate controls for each identified hazard. Finally, put those controls into practice and ensure that they are being followed consistently. As you can see, each of the four types of preventive control serves a specific purpose, and together, they form a strong defense against food safety issues. Remember, documenting these controls is just as important as implementing them. You are not only ensuring the safety of your food products, but also demonstrating compliance with the FSMA regulations. Well, that's all for today's video on the four types of preventive controls in the Preventive Control Plan for FSMA. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more valuable insights into food safety. Also, don't forget to comment or drop me a message if you have any questions on the topic. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for our next video.